to reach the media market is somewhat unique since we have a strong newspaper industry that rapidly took part in the process of digitalization media content. The Norwegian newspaper began digitalization of the content very early, and for several years they have referred to themselves as media houses rather than newspapers. Their strategy for, for all of the major players in Norway has been to use multiple platforms to deliver content to the users. In 1997, Vedia Online had 1% daily users. At the same time, the paper edition had 38% readers. In 2012, the paper edition had 16% readers. At the same time, the online edition had 43% users and mobile 18%. The Vega brand have more than half, reaches more than half of the Norwegian population. The traffic measurement Tenas Mobile gives total page views for the Norwegian market. The total number of page views on mobile have exploded from 33 million in January 2010 to uh, 575 million users in September 2013. Access to, sorry, access to media equipment in the Nordic countries is very high, as you can see. 18% have access to smart TV, 40% have PVR in Norway, the access to internet is 94%, tablets 52%, and smartphone 79%. In Norway, 29% are daily viewing shorter or longer video and streams online. The reach among men is 39% and for women only 20%. The younger people are, the more often they view online. 54% of the age group 15 to 29 years view daily online on the reach and the reach among the innovators and early users of new technology is 65%. In second quarter 2013, 16% are daily viewing TV programs, such as series and movies online, compared to only 5% in 2012. 30% of the age group 20, sorry, 15 to 29 years are viewing online, and 35% of innovators and early users of new media technology watch TV programs daily online. Figures from the TAM, the TV meter audience measurement, shows that daily viewing time has declined from 181 minutes in 2010 to 164 minutes in 2013 for the period of January to October. Most of the reduced viewing time is among those below 40 years. The viewing time among teenagers is reduced by 27%. The age group 20 to 29 years by 25% and 30 to 39% and the age group 30 to 39 years 17%. While traditionally broadcast TV declines among those below 40 years, streaming is increasing among them. So far, we have been able to report program ratings for NRK and TV2 from scores. Here we can see online ratings from mobile, tablet and desktop. <coughs> Time-shifted viewing, reruns and TV Live for the Norwegian program uh, Lillehammer. And as you can see, 65% of the ratings are live TV, 14% reruns, 11% timesheet viewing, and 10% online. The Norwegian hybrid measurement system. The scope and specification for the Norwegian tender for internet 2014-2016. The clients represent websites ranging from local newspaper sites to the largest sites. 
and the system should be measured internet use in Norway on the participating websites. The clients had the following main criteria for the tender. To deliver internet measurement system for all types of sites. Have a randomly selected and recruited high quality panel that is credible and comparable with other media measurements. Measure any device of all content. Deliver a modern tool for site-centric measurement and reporting. We started to measure websites as early as 1995 in Norway and mobile con content from 2005. We have successfully been reporting the total media brand footprint of the media houses since 1996 by using the recall method. We introduced the browser, browser measurement TNS metrics in 2000 and the electronic measurement for mobile in 2008. The Norwegian Internet Panel was launched in 2010 and from 2014 NIP 2.0 will be introduced. So we have a hybrid measurement system and the three measurements are used for different purposes. NIP is the currency for national sites and can give reasonable figures for the largest regional markets and for demographic groups. Consumer media is the official currency for local newspaper. It gives opportunities for specific target group analysis and multimedia analysis. Score, the browser measurement scores, gives data <coughs> traffic data on the browser level for all sites and categories. First, we have the site-centric browser measurement scores. The streaming model for the players gives daily reporting of unique viewers, started streams and viewing time. The graph on the right hand shows daily unique viewers in Towson for the measured channel. The TV channel NRK and the newspaper SatBG are most users. These figures from scores shows the streaming on desktop, mobile and tablets for a typical day. There's a very, very different viewing structure between the three device types. People wake up in the morning and turn on their mobile to check if anything has happened during the night. Some also use tablet while eating breakfast. When people go to work and school, they turn on their computers and from 2 p.m. both mobile and tablets grows until beta. The third electronic measurement is the Norwegian Internet Panel, NIP. We are running a high standard representative panel after the same procedures as we do for, the additional, for traditional TV panels with establishment survey, panel controls and waiting. The panel consists of 5,000 people and measures all types of devices used for internet or online TV. Use a cookie tracking method where we follow the active devices of our panel members in the traffic measurement and extract their usage on a daily basis. This requires an active and professional panel management and support. We also have strict validation rules that enable us to report overnight data to the market on a daily basis. Different from the traffic measurement alone, this panel gives audience data for real people with demographics. So, another unique feature of the Norwegian Internet Panel is that it gives overnight reporting for real people. The broadcasters can on daily basis analyze viewing figures from the TAM panel, uh, the TV meter panel, the PPM for radio, and the Norwegian internet panel for internet. The younger people are, the more often they stream online, as you can see here. The expansion of smartphones and tablets raises some huge challenges that we have to solve. Since 2011, the access to mobile has grown from 46% to 79%.
and tablets had grown from 4% to 52%. And I think the access to tablets is uh, perhaps the highest uh, in the world in Norway. This dramatic growth in new devices is challenges when it comes to running a representative panel. Furthermore, this chart illustrates the dramatic growth in traffic from mobiles and tablets from 2011 to September 2013. 11% of the traffic comes from Android and 30% iOS in 2013. This means that 41% come from tablets and mobile, compared to only 7% in 2011. So, we have to measure mobile and tablets. <coughs> Measurement of mobile phones has been a part of the panel since 2010, although it was not mandatory for the panel members. From 2013, we used use basic and targeted panel management to activate to get as many mobile in the panel as possible. From 2014, the measurement would include internet usage on mobiles and tablets, both on browsers and apps. However, there are some challenges. Not only does the average number of devices each panel member has to activate in, in the measurement increase, but the lifetime of these new devices becomes shorter as people often buy new phones and tablets. To meet these challenges, we have to develop a fusion technique. To be able to report valid mobile audience from the panel, we have to build a full coverage of the claimed mobile internet users from our panel members. 67% of our panel members claim to be using their mobiles for internet, but so far we measure only 41% mobile. The most important effort, uh, effort is to achieve a reliable estimate for mobile audience is to take and measure more of the claimed mobiles. Then we will fuse data from the valid mobile phones to the missing invalid mobile phones. The fusion ensures, ensures that all panel members with claimed mobile internet users are covered and we can then adjust claim share in the panel to the universe estimates. Fusion of data. The methodology uses data fusion to, to fill missing information from the panel members. We make use of panel members with a, a complete measurement of all claim devices used for internet and these <coughs> are the donors in the fusion. The donors provide data to the missing device for the recipients who, for some reason, have an, have an inactive mobile phone in the measurement at that time. We use fusion technique to fill in the missing recipient data from the best matched donor. The fusion happens on a daily basis and start with the validation process, this knowledge which devices are active in the measurement, and decide which panel members are completely measured donors and who are missing a claim device and hence a recipient in the fusion. Then the fusion model seeks to find twins between the donors and the recipients based on demographic, device profile, actual internet users data in several content categories on the measured devices. Then the data from the mobile donor is ascribed to the recipient mobile and the panel can be weighted according to mobile usage. This solution provides valid and weighted audience estimates including mobile usage. With a growing number of measured mobiles and a positive donor recipient ratio, we are satisfied with the fusion diagnostic and the overall performance of the model. Another strength is that the reported levels of average daily and weekly reach on mobile sites are very similar between the donors and the recipients. The fused results from the panel are also compared with other data sources 
in order to emulate their validity.